Hello? What? Oh, but honey, I'm cooking such a lovely dinner. Oh, Frank, and it's our anniversary, too. I know, darling, but it's a chance to make a big sale. Maybe one of the 120-foot boats. They asked me to go to their apartment for dinner and talk over the deal. But think of the commission, dear. I'll tell you what I'll do. If I make the sale, I'll buy you something pretty to go with your fur coat. All right? Well, I suppose business comes first. All right, dear. Oh, of course, I still love you. Goodbye, darling. I'm disappointed at not meeting your husband, Mrs. Rich. You'd be much more disappointed if you had met him. He's a little screwy on the subject of sheep. Sheep? Yes, the Colonel's a sheep fancier. <laughs> well, we seem to be quite a ways from the sheep country. Well, that's why I like New York. The Colonel's hobby keeps him away from home so much. He'll be gone for weeks now, I hope. He's out on his ranch? Oh, no, no. He's at a convention in Denver. The convention of the sheep fanciers of North America. Very cozy here, don't you think? Well, it doesn't look like the ideal place for us to get down to business. I wouldn't say that. Make yourself comfortable. Of course, uh, we have many nice models in smaller boats. Smaller what? Boats. Ah, I hate boats. But you phoned our manager. Oh, so I did. <laughs> oh, well, you see, I happened to be walking up Park Avenue this morning, and I looked in your show window. Well, you were so attractive that I asked the manager to send you up to arrange for a demonstration. Mrs. Fitch, I'm afraid you'll have to get someone else to give you the demonstration. I happen to be a married man. Oh, and I, and I happen to be a married woman. So I'll forgive you if you forgive me. I'm sorry. You should be. Because if the demonstration proves satisfactory, I'd be very likely to let you sell me a bill. In fact, I think you could sell me almost anything. Are you really interested in a boat, Mrs. Uh, Fitch? Well, I could be. <laughs> Tonight, I haven't much sales resistance. Whatever that is, it's a mistake. Well, well, Joe Snodgrass, still drunk. Hi, Bunny. Just happened to be out skating. So I thought I'd glide in for a uh, old Lang Syne and a little piece of cake. Joe Snodgrass, how many times have I told you not to come up here without telephoning? Can you keep a secret? I lost my nickel. Oh, yeah. Suppose the Colonel should come in. Well, didn't you tell me he was in Denver? Yes, I know. Buddy, is that his overcoat? No. Huh? So. Well, well, well. So, by a woman, you bring men up here while I'm away. I work and slave and sweat to keep you in perfume luxury. Now, this is the kind of a wife you've turned out to be. Shut up, you dumb ape! I'll riddle him with bullets. Don't try to hold me. Let me at him. A side, a side, foul woman. Like a thief in the night, he comes here to steal your love. Run! At last I've caught you, 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 you. He's gone. Oh, you bald-headed baboon. 